Hello. In this video, I'm taking a look at the stochastic oscillator. It's a uh, indicator that typically plots in the bottom of your trading package and does tend to be more of a range bound indicator. Um, so what I mean by that is when the market is range bound, it, t it tends to perform better. You can see that there's two lines on it and um, the lines, uh, although not as important, they do give uh, a basic calculation of, uh, in layman's terms, essentially what you have is the um, line here, the green line in this case, um, is the most recent close, the highest high over the last, in this case, 15, day, or, yeah, 15 days, and the lowest low over the last 15 days. And then the three is the signal line, and that's just simply used as a moving average of that. So in other words, the idea is, is it shows overbought and oversold conditions. And now on this chart, you can see that I have the 80 and the 20, and that's overbought and that's oversold. And then when you cross, it's like a moving average cross. Uh, it's time to perhaps fire off a signal. So in this case, you can see that we got really bullish. We were well into overbought territory. We crossed, it gave you a sell signal. Down here, it crossed, it didn't give you um, a buy signal below the oversold, but uh, some traders are a little bit more aggressive. They could have gotten involved in there to go to the upside. Up here, you can see that we crossed again and we sold off and on and on. It, like all other indicators, can get whipsawed, but this is uh, definitely used for range-bound trading, so it does make it a handy uh, tool in those particular types of trading environments. So, for example, if I were to uh, change the uh, time frame, you can see that it changes the layout, and in the four-hour chart, we're not as uh, range bound. We are starting to grind a little higher. So these signals become a little less uh, reliable. They, they can work, don't get me wrong, but they tend to be a little less uh, of the desired result. Another thing that you have to think about when it comes to stochastics is that it has the possibility of showing divergence. And like any other indicator, divergence on an oscillator is just simply when price is moving one way and momentum is moving the other. So for example you will have a, a lower high and a higher high or um, you know you're making higher prices and, and lower in the stochastic it just kind of shows that you're running out of momentum for the range and uh, you have to keep an eye on that as that can be a, a bit of a trading signal as well. So for example, um, this area here is actually grinding a little bit lower while price was rising. So the question then becomes, are we running out of momentum? Or are we eventually going to fall off? Now, uh, divergence isn't necessarily as strong on a stochastic as it would be, say, on a MACD but it is something to pay attention to.